Hey, yo, Pluto. You going brazen. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Law Cannon, and we are back. This time with a recipe that's been highly requested, and it's a spin off my most viral recipe. This is the Berea Quesadillas. Make sure you guys subscribe, and let's get ready to dive into this video. So first, of course, you want to get your beef chuck roast. Um, we are not using any goat for this burrito. This is beef, so we're going to use our beef chuck roast, and then we're going to add in a femur bone. Now, what this bone does, like you guys seen in the last video, this bone adds a lot of flavor to your broth. Um, it's going to give it a really nice, amazing taste. Then we're going to proceed to add in our baby carrots. You know, carrots make your consomme. It gives it that flavor. You know, just like when you're making any kind of broth, carrots, celery, those type of things. Then you're going to proceed to drop your jumbo onion into your pot. Make sure you cut it in half. Don't worry about cutting this any way more because it's going to boil directly down. This is going to boil right down in your pot, in your soup. Then we're going to add in our whole garlic clove. <laughs> now, a lot of people on my last video was like, hey, why didn't you cut it up? Why didn't you do the bulbs? Trust me, guys, this boils right down, provides all the flavor you need, right along with your guajillo chiles. Make sure you guys add your guajillo chiles. Add about 10 to 14 of those. This is just all flavor, guys. When you're making burrito, it's about flavor. You cannot have flavorless burrito. Okay, no flavors of burrito. Next, you want to add your bay leaves. We all know what bay leaves add, that flavor in that body. That body, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> and make sure you guys add about 10 to 12 bay leaves into here. Um, I added about 13, 14. I'm trying to tell you guys I just love the flavor. You guys can follow like that, or you don't have to. Then, add in about three tablespoons of chicken bouillon. You guys know I like to add my own stuff. So, trust me, just trust me, stick with me three tablespoons of chicken bouillon and then mix all of this up and bring this to a boil for the next 45 minutes to one hour Once this boils for about 45 minutes to an hour, make sure you guys remove that big old femur bone out of this pot. The bone has done what it needs to do. Give it to your dog. Do whatever you guys want to do with it. But um, we want to now cover this top back up, boil this down for another hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then we're going to proceed to remove our guajillo chiles and add them to our blender to blend it up. We're going to blend these up in a blender. Then we're going to add that sauce directly back into our pot and boom, let that cook for another two and a half hours. You got, I already taught you how to do this, but this is a special kind of y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all some special. I'm giving y'all a log cannon special. Hashtag log cannon special. Now make sure you guys do get every one of these. You guys do not want to miss any peppers like I always do. I always leave like one or two. But uh, you guys want to make sure you get all of your peppers. And so we can get a really nice blend of those. Add that flavor, add that color back in here. But make sure you get all of your peppers, guys. All of them.
I am using a Ninja uh, food processor. You guys can find any other food processor. You guys, everybody already knows Ninja. You use a Ninja. You can, that, that Ninja gonna blend that half supposed to be blended. You get it? It's gonna blend that half supposed to be blended. But make sure you guys um, add this liquid directly back into your pot. Cover with the top, and we're gonna let this cook for about two hours or two and a half. You guys know I like my stuff for dinner, so I'll say about two and a half. Now it's time to make our chili oil. Get two teaspoons of um, ground cloves, add in your two teaspoons of granulated garlic or minced garlic or dried garlic powder, whichever kind of garlic you guys like, but I'm gonna tell you guys to use the granulated garlic. And then we're gonna proceed to add in our chicken bouillon in here as well. You know we gotta hit it with the two teaspoons. Everything that we're using right now for the chili oil is getting two teaspoons okay so two teaspoons you guys usually get me by my measurements so i'm telling you guys today with the chili oil two teaspoons okay all right <laughs> then we're going to try something different we're going to add in our mexican hot mexican chili powder i love what this does for the maria chili oil i just love it and you guys also can keep this chili oil for about seven days and it builds more flavor as the days go on so hey don't forget what i told you like, Take what I'm telling y'all. Use these gems, these jewels, you know. <laughs> Add in your two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of black pepper, and then we have to add in about 10 dried guajillo chiles. Add about 10 of them, guys. And sneak in a teaspoon of sugar, but don't tell nobody. And blend all of that up, blend all of that up, blend all of that up, blend it all up. Hey yo Pluto, you going brazen? Once that's fully blended, take about two cups of vegetable oil, um, pure vegetable oil. Add that to a nice pot and you want to start getting up. Turn this heat up a little bit, I'll say about medium. Um, just be very careful with this step because this grease is about to get really hot. And once this grease is hot, I'll say in about five minutes, you want to add in your guajillo chiles and continuously mix them, mix them in that grease, mix them in that grease until you see that the chiles are basically fried and that that oil has that nice color. Basically, you're getting all of the juices out of the guajillos and adding it to this oil. So it's giving a really nice chili oil without it even being finished yet. And once you see that it's done, heat it up. Make sure it's not burnt. Once that's heated up very well, we're going to add our chili oil to our bowl of seasonings that we just put together and blended. Add that hot chili oil in here and be very careful, guys, because this is scorching hot. I don't have YouTube insurance for everybody. Like, oh my God, log in and burn me. No. Pour your hot grease into this and continuously mix as you're pouring it in there. You want to get every piece of this seasoning well integrated into this hot grease. Look at that. Ooh. Y'all about to smell. Y'all about to smell what I'm talking about. 
Make sure y'all drop this in the comments if you if you smell what I'm talking about already when you're making this. and tender is falling off of these damn tongues like y'all y'all there's so many recipes you can do a burrito but i'm about to just show y'all the quesadillas all right so make sure everybody is removing the quesadillas from this pot place it on a nice cutting board we're going to chop this you're not even gonna you probably could chop this with a spoon that's how tender this is but you want to chop this up really nice and fine to start putting this in our quesadillas Pluto, you going brazen. Now, let's build the quesadilla. So first off, you guys do want to make a nice slit into this extra large burrito shell or taco shell, whatever you can find, so that it can be folded. And we're going to do as such. We're going to add burrito meat, cilantro and onions, Mexican oaxa cheese or quesadilla cheese or chihuahua cheese, either of the three. I have a mixture of all three. And add in some of your chili oil. Now fold as such, y'all feel like I'm on TikTok. <laughs> fold as such, get a really nice fold on that and make sure you are now heating up a nice skillet and adding your chili oil. And we're gonna cook these bad boys in chili oil, just like this, oh my God. Now it's time for y'all to start, y'all know, y'all know when we cook together, you start getting that smell. I'm, I'm smelling this through the screen. Y'all almost ready. I want you guys to fry this for about two to three minutes on this side. Be careful not to burn and then get a good flip on this. Once you get a good flip on that, you will see that nice brown. You want to get another flip in about two to three more minutes. And then I'm going to show you guys what makes these Maria quesadillas so special. Next, take your Berea quesadilla, dip it inside of your consomme that you boiled your meat in, and fry that bad boy right back on that pan. Ooh, there you go. I just showed y'all how to make Berea quesadillas now. Make sure you dry that quesadilla off with some napkins, because there might be a lot of chili oil in there, but dry it off with napkins. Serve with some fresh limes. Ooh, dip, man, man. Y'all know what we just did, Berea quesadillas. Please try this recipe. Tag me on Instagram at Law Cannon, Twitter Law Cannon. Subscribe, comment below. I told you guys I'm dropping more content. I'm going to be way more consistent. But thank you guys for the love. See you guys next time. Hey, yo, Pluto. You going brazen?